ikorobia. I think chemical ikorobiam was very simple and easy to interpret. And those people who watched my uh, prediction, I think I gave you a question which is almost the same like this. Exactly. If it does not. Okay, let's look at it. Consider the hypothetical reaction of uh, this is the volume. It's very important. Close the system container. Okay, sharp. And they're saying the graph below shows the change in the amount of reactant and product over time. Okay, cool. Then they are saying that, mm -hmm. write down the meaning of reversible reaction. What does it mean? Reversible reaction. It means reactants uh, can be converted to product and product can be converted to reactants. That's when the reactants and products can be converted here. Yes. So state the Shillian's principle, this one is also... Some people, they just talk their words. There are some things we are looking at when you are answering these definitions. They don't change. It remains the same. The principle remains the principle. But here, you have to talk about the equilibrium, and then to have to talk about the stress which has been in, uh, introduced. Then you have to talk about uh, how is the system going to uh, counteract this stress, and then how is the equilibrium going to shift. So basically, as it shifts, it, it tries to remove the, uh, the problem or the stress you have in, introduced. But some people, they just leave some points. And then this is a principle whereby you get it or you lose it. It is all or nothing. You either get all the marks, the two marks, or you lose everything if you skip out something. Okay, a change with the... Um, the change was made at equilibrium at this point, the second, okay. Write down the change that was made at this point. So if you look at it, this is the product. And then they added the product. See? So it, there is addition of product or addition of A. Then they're saying that, mm, and then the moment you added, then it reversed. You see? That now it became a reactant. You see? Yes. Okay. They're saying that the change principle are uh, explaining how the system react to this change. Explain, use this principle how the system react to uh, when uh, more product, when the product was added, yes, so what is the stress? So it means that the the system had to shift so that to reduce the amount of product you have uh, added. So therefore, it will favor the reverse reaction so that the amount of uh, product which has been added can be decreased so you talk about the stress how is the system going to change based on the stress or based on the uh, what you have added in there so basically that's why it's two marks calculate the equilibrium constant at okay equilibrium mm. constant okay now you need to what 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 120 yes okay they are looking at 120 after it has reversed Okay, let's look at what you, you, you talk about here. Mm. You can use a different method or you can use rice method. Uh, because it's four marks, it means that it doesn't have that much details. Uh, you're supposed to do rice. And then this is elements. So you have A, you have B, and then you have AB. Uh, something is very important here. Look, guys. Here, the reaction reversed. This was the pro the reactant, but here is the product. See, so this is it, the product now. And then, the one which was, you see that this was uh, a product, now it became a reactant. So A and B, they are reactants. Yes, that's why I put them on this side. So more ratio, Mm, based on the model ratio, this is 2, and then these are 1, 1. So meaning that you have 2 here, have 1, 1. Initial concentration, you just get from the graph. Mm. Here, it is 2. Is it 2? 
is it is two a b b is two ne mm, b is check it's b b is two so i come here i put two on b and uh, i say that no 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 this is the initial initial what you started with so what you started with here b b here uh initial i started from here so it's four and then mm, a started from 10 and then a b started from eh? a b started from 10 uh, a b ne? Uh, uh. B started from six you see yeah so it means that a a started from 10 and then b started from 4 and then a b started from 6 you see a started from here which is 10 a b started from 6 and then b started b started from here all of them they started from here started from 4 now since i know what i started with now what is at equilibrium okay now a b it is 10 a b it is 10 that's what is at equilibrium and then b is 2 and also a is 8 so b is 2 and then this one is 8 now to get the change what happened at equilibrium yes this is what they used so now i need to know what is remaining at yes so now this minus this i'm gonna get two this minus this i'm gonna get two and this minus this i'm gonna get four actually it shows us uh, check it's two one one now how much volume did they use how much volume did they use they used four decimeter cubed therefore i'm gonna say two divided by four which gives me 0 0.5 2 divided by 4 gives me 0 0.5 4 divided by 4 gives me 0, uh, which gives me 1 yes now i say kc is equal to uh, the concentration of ab because it is the product over but how many moles there are 2 squared over the concentration of a and the concentration of b yes but Kc is equal to A is 1. See, the concentration is 1 squared divided by mm -hmm, A, which is 0 0.5, and then times B, which is 0 0.5, which gives me Kc to be 4. So basically, that's what you were supposed to do when it came to that. Okay, then we go to the next question. The next question, what are they saying? Next question, next question, next question. All right. Mm -hmm. Then they're saying that, so we are done with that. Uh, they're saying that, uh, calculate, okay, at 100 and uh, at 100 and uh, at 130 the temperature of the system increased decreased 130 let's go check 130 okay temperature decreased when it decreased what happened reaction increased so it means that this reaction is exothermic yes it's exothermic so let's look and we see the temperature decreased, which means that the reaction is exothermic. Mm. Mm. Okay, 
You're saying that write down the potential diagram for this reaction. So automatically, if it's exothermic, then the potential diagram mm, talk about exothermic. So the energy is lost. Yes, whereby here is gonna be uh, gonna be a b, and then here just progress reaction progress, and then here is the potential energy potential energy. And this is gonna be a plus b, and then this is gonna be activation energy, and then this is this is gonna be change and that will be change and then this is gonna be activation energy activation energy so basically the graph is gonna be like that but it wants to show that it is an exothermic reaction mm -hmm. we go to the next question What are they saying? Uh, initial. Uh, yes, okay. Will the equilibrium constant Kc at 100 be greater than, less than, or equal to at this? Explain your answer. Definitely is going to be greater than. Why? Because this reaction is exothermic. It, 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 it is going to be favored by decrease in temperature. And then more products are going to be formed. And then once more products are formed, the KC value is going to increase. Don't forget that KC value can only be increased by Alright. Then we go to the next question, which is question the, the initial the initial reaction takes place in the presence of a catalyst at this. Mm -hmm. Describe how the change will be observed on the graph at T0 and T60. When you say T0 to T60 here. Definitely, the catalyst is just speed up the rate of chemical reaction, but that doesn't change the how much is going to be formed at the end of the day. So basically, it is going to shift to the left. Yeah? But it finishes very fast. Even here, it shifts to the left. And then it finishes very fast. So basically, that's what you were supposed to draw when it came to that. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, question for chemical equilibrium. We have uh, we have uh, smashed it. Then we go to the next question. The next question, which involves calculations. Yeah, it involves good calculations 